So GCSE results are out. We're gonna have a little chat about what that means to us moving forward and some of the pitfalls and some of the things that we can do to make sure those GCSEs moving forward are of the grades required to complete an apprenticeship. GCSEs this year have been historically more difficult to pass. So in some cases, people have been contacting me with expected sixes and sevens and fours in the rest. And they're only actually getting three or four grades of four and above and they are not getting the full suite of qualifications they thought they were going to get, and they're panicking a little bit. Well, let's not panic regardless what our GCSE results are. They're gone, so okay, we've got that moment in time, and the results are out, and they are what they are. So we want to continue on to be an electrician. Hopefully some of us have secured an apprenticeship, and we looked at our maths and English, and we need them to be four or above in order to complete the standards, and one or both of them may be not a four. Okay, so what does that mean to us? It means you've secured a job, well done. You've got a place on a course that's been secured as well, and your college will work on improving either maths or English on both of them to be at least a four as part of your apprenticeship. So you're okay from that point of view. What about the rest of us? We've now got grades that we're expecting to be high enough to get us onto a certain level of course. It could be that you were trying to get on a level two on a course, or maybe a T level, which is actually at level three. So you've got to look at those GCSEs and think to yourself, were they high enough to achieve that course? And if they weren't, the first people you contact is your college and ask whether the grades you've achieved this time round will be allowed onto that course or is it absolutely in stone that you can't get on because you've got one less grade than expected? And that's a conversation you can have with the college. But please do not take anything as a negative because there's always an option. If you were trying to get on, say, to a level two electrical course and your GCSEs in maths and English weren't high enough, the likelihood is the course has already mentioned to you they offer a level one. So level one, you might think, oh, I don't really want to do a level one course. It's a bonus to you, I would suggest. Let's turn it into a positive. It gives you an entire year to work on your practical skills, something you don't work on at school. You won't have done any electrical uh, wiring at school, and therefore you won't have those skills to transition into a level two course. All you'll have is the GCSEs. So I start a level one course, I get 50% of my time maybe doing practical, so I can improve those skills that I don't have in the first place. And the rest of the time, obviously, I'm doing that level one electrical course and working out whether I want to do it. But in the meantime, you'll also have a, a slotted time to pick up your maths, English, or both of them to work those back towards that four, which is required as part of the apprenticeship standards in order to complete that part, which will be in your future, hopefully. So you're in that position, you're starting maybe a level one. Or it might be that you've got the GCSE results and you're allowed to go onto your level two and you're, you're, you're jumping around, you're chuffed a bit you've got those results in maths and English. However, if you think now is you're jumping in with maths and English, no electrical knowledge and no practical experience, actually the practical part of the course is gonna be quite challenging for you compared to maybe the academic. And there you're gonna to need to work on maybe getting some work experience, maybe some additional skills by asking to stay behind at college and do some extra work if you're lacking in those skills. Because you'll have an end point of practical assessment as a full-time learner at level two that you have to pass. You only get one attempt at it. So there's no real winners in this, is there? So if you've got your GCSEs and you might jump in at level two or a T level as a full-time learner, obviously the practical element's gonna be very challenging. It might be that you, came a little bit short with those maths and English and therefore you start at level one and you're a bit disappointed because you see other people start at level two but you get a year's worth of practical which is uh, like having it in hand for the following year and you get to work on your GCSEs. If you start your apprenticeship hopefully you've got those qualifications if you haven't you're under a lot of pressure aren't you because you're now starting a course that's practically minded has a theoretical element and you've got to improve your GCSEs in order to get those up to fours in maths and English or higher in order to complete that apprenticeship. So these are challenging times folks but it's how you react to these challenging times and what you do next at no point during your school life were you saying I want to be history I want to be geography I want to be English all you're saying it really is that you're completing your GCSEs that you chose but now hopefully we're moving to a stage where we say I want to be an electrician we should have a different feeling to you a different sensation you should now be spending maybe more of your spare time actually working towards your end goal, which is to be an electrician. I've said this many a time on different videos, on different channels. If at any point your body says, I don't want to, or your mind saying to you, but I don't want to do this, actually you're on the wrong course before you start. So you should take those GCSEs. You should take now what you hope is a love of the electrical industry by reading books, watching YouTube videos and all the rest of it and take all of that energy and opportunity forward in order to make that dream come true of being an electrician. And do not now dwell on what has gone in the past. Your GCSEs, your 12 years at school are finished and now you're working towards that electrical dream, whether it be at level one, 
level two, maybe you're doing T levels or maybe you're lucky enough to be a level three on an apprenticeship, whatever GCSE results you got, they're gone. You can improve them as you move forward. It's what you do next on the skills you haven't got in both practical and electrical knowledge that is gonna fill that gap. And now's the time to start consuming that content. There's plenty of content out there that I've produced on many uh, media channels. So I'm trying to put more everywhere. So not just on YouTube where you may be watching this or you may be not. I'm trying to put it on all the other platforms as well because I understand people don't like to jump off one platform. Maybe they're on TikTok and move across to Instagram or move across to YouTube or move across to Facebook in order to consume that knowledge. And I'll put as much out there as I can along with loads of other great channels in order to help you on that journey into the electrical industry. So GCSEs are gone, let's move forward, let's work hard, and let's make out that we really wanna be an electrician by knowing we do, by putting the effort in, in order to make that dream come true.